first, and then if we have time, we'll go. So, touch on. Okay. <clears throat> um, really, really proud of the effort today. I thought it was a really, really great game. Excuse me. I thought the environment was awesome. It was a great, great environment. We were really good Purdue team. Obviously, I have a lot of love for Purdue, so it was awesome to be back here. Um, but yeah, just solid for me. Um, we were really balanced offensively, having four double figures. Awesome to have Sony Citron back. Um, just thought we played a solid game. I thought the first half, we in the second quarter, um, we lost our composure a little bit, but I thought in the second half we came back. Thought we executed really well and thought we did a really good job defensively. But um, really um, excited just again to feel a little bit healthier um, and just to see the uh, balance that we had offensively and de defensively, just working to get better. Which what did it mean for you guys to close the first half on the 9-0 run after you had to call a timeout after Purdue's 6 0 run kind of got the crowd back into it? Yeah, um, I thought we just needed to have some composure. I felt like our shot selection, um, we were one shot and done, and then they came down, hit a couple really big threes, and then the, um, the technical foul, getting two free throws and the ball back. I thought we kind of lost our, our composure, so I was happy that we they settled in after the timeout. And then, like you said, closing out a 9-0 run, so that was really good. But I not have some of those um, lapses that we had today. And then something for you, a two-parter, just. Uh, hold on, I'll go, I'll go to you in just a second. I got to go to Tyler. Right. A two-parter for you, Sony. What was it like to be back after missing the season opener? And then first time we saw you play competitively with uh, Hannah and Olivia, obviously, what was it like to, to have that guard combination going? I mean, really excited to do that. I was very anxious. I mean, like I hate watching just because we're such an exciting team. So I just wanted to be a part of a part of that and be on the court. So definitely really excited to be back. Um, and then again, playing with Hannah and Liv, I I said it before, but it's every Wayne's dream. I mean, that's two two of the most talented point guards in the country, and I get to play with them. So I I just consider myself extremely lucky. Hey Sonia, what allowed you to be so comfortable tonight? Just uh, you know, your first game in. Why why were you so comfortable though, and in, in, in at ease and in, in such rhythm tonight? Yeah, um, I mean, I I think I'm gonna credit that to my preparation and uh, the coaching staff and my trainer just helping me get back on the court and, and feeling good, um, and then just preparing like I, I get my shots up uh, and I put the time into to put myself at ease when I'm when I'm playing. So. Coach, I think uh, the the ten second violation by Hannah really encapsulated the night. Where did she learn to pick up ball handlers at such an aggressive, almost like crocodilian type way? Yeah, she loved defense, and that's always kind of been her um, her thing. You know, she's a two way player. Um, she's just I know, I know she plays with her her brothers growing up and always playing against guys and having that toughness. You know, that chip on her shoulder. Um, but she just loves it. She's really aggressive, and we have somebody that actually loves loves that side of um, basketball. It's just it's fun. It's contagious. Um, but she just again, when you have somebody that loves it, has that defensive mindset, that dog defensively. Um, I think that's just what she. That's just who she is. Sony, what is it about every time, <laughs> at least lately, the last two times you played Purdue that just makes it so comfortable for for you, knowing the rivalry, knowing the history, and in, in these last two times. I mean, the results have been speaking for itself. Yeah, um, I mean, I, I actually didn't play last year, but I know it was just as exciting of a game uh, last year as it was this year. Um, I mean, obviously, we're, we're both in Indiana, so that definitely plays a part in it. Um, and I mean, I think no matter who we play, when we're on the court, we want to... Nice um, we want to dominate. We want to dominate the opponents. <laughs> um, so no matter who's on who's on the court, we want to have that mentality. Whether it's Purdue, whether it's it's any other team in the country. So. Towards the last question out of me. I mean, this is the second straight time you you've hit the the century mark. I mean, what what's sort of the goal for this offense this year? Like, what message is your team trying to send early to the to the rest of the country with a performance like tonight against uh, Patrick? Yeah. Um, I, I'm always just trying to make sure our offense is fluent. I'm always trying to make sure our team um, are playing to their strengths. So that's something we, we're always working on. We love pace. You know, our defense dictates the way that we push tempo. And like she said, we have really unselfish guards that are really fast. So for us, it's always we're always working on this, all, all the little things. But having so much um, talent and having so many uh, weapons, we get a chance to try to go to whatever we feel like is in this match. So. I'm always, as a coach, trying to figure out how we ways we can get better. But 
Um, I give them a lot of freedom, and it's nice to see that our offense is gelling right now. And Bill, if you have a question, you can go ahead. Well, so let me just ask you, um, do you feel like your mobility is back to 100%? Uh, mobility, yes. I think um, it's going to take a couple of things, at least just to get my wind um, and uh, quickness back. I, I have to say I felt a little slow. Um, but, yeah, I think mobility is good. I just, it's just getting my wind back. Anyone else on Zoom? Go ahead. We'll do one more. Thank you. Thank you.